Hello, so we are going to present in this video a solved problem about the neural networks. This was an exam problem here in Utad. So uh, we have in the left a pattern. A pattern is defined by the capital A letter. And we got a field tri triangle inside the letter. And uh, we got uh, three lines, the line in blue one, the line in red two, and the line in black three. So the line one is uh, representing, representing the output of neuron, hidden neuron one. The line two is for the hidden neuron two, and the line three is for the hidden layer three. So um, we are going to assume that the activation functions for a, each uh, neuron is the heavy side function. So the, tre the threshold value is theta equals to zero. So we are going to we provide some uh, weights values, which are these ones here, uh, this one, this one, and this one. And so we want to determine determine the remaining hidden weights, and also the classes to uh, where these points A, B, C, D belong. Okay. So uh, the first thing to do is to determine the line equations. So the line equation, this is easy, for uh, neuron one uh, is this one. So we can see that in this case, uh, x2, x is equal to x1, because the slope is 1. For the second one, uh, we can see the, here the coordinate is 2, so and the slope is minus 1, so x2 equals to mi minus x1 plus 2. And finally, for the third one, since the value is constant, is 0.5, so x2 equals to 0.5. So we got the three line equations, each one for each hidden uh, neuron. So now uh, we have to determine the equations uh, that uh, so we can evaluate the output of this uh, neuron, h1, which is y1. So y1, we, this is easy, so is the output of the, uh, the we have to, uh, to, to evaluate the activation, the sum function, the fun, sum function in this case is, is x1 times omega h11, so it is this one, then we got x2 times omega h12, which is this one, and the third one, since, since it is the bias, is positive one, so it is just omega h13. So if we, we, we do the equation equals to zero, we determine the, 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 the equation x2 in function of fx1 and the weights here. So we just have to relate this general equation with the provided equation. So if you, if you have that omega h12 is one, the only way that this becomes negative here is that omega h11 is minus 1. And since we don't have the, the next term, this, this uh, weight has to be 0, omega h13. Okay, so we got the weights. And we can now uh, uh, pick up the equation and uh, uh, replace the weights by the values in this case, and OK, you got a table to fill. And uh, for each of, of the points, A, B, C, D, we got the coordinates for x1 and x2. x3 is the bias. So we got here the, the sum value. You, can, you should do this by, by yourself. I'm not going to do this for all the cases. And the output is only 1 for point A. It means that in this case, OK, this is the only point belongs to class 1 for this discriminative line. All the others, they are in this side of the, the line. So they belong to class 2. As you can see, the value is 0 for all of them. OK, so you can say that the, the output of neuron 1 is 1. It means that the point belongs to class 1. In this case, it's just A in the set. And when it is 0, we got B, C, D. OK, so we are going to do this for the, 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 the remaining two hidden neurons. So the, in this case, we are going to pass for hidden uh, neuron 2 
to determine y2. And uh, it's the same thing. We got the sum. We got the line equation. We got the provided line, which is this one. And OK, now we have to, if you got omega h to 2 equals to 1, uh, the only way that this remains negative is that this is positive, okay? So, and the only way that you get this is positive is that this weight here is negative, minus 2. So, we got the two uh, weights, and now we are replacing an equation, as before, and we fill the table. And, okay, in this case, we conclude that the only point that... Uh, is uh, positive outside this line, it means that it belongs to class 1, is point B. All the others, A, C, and D, they belong to class 2, in this case. Okay? So, we do this for the third neuron, H3, and determine the equation for Y3, so it is the same thing, Again, you can do that, and then v equals to zero, we determine the, the line equation, the general line equation. In this case, we compare to the, the provided line, which is this one. And okay, if you omega h3, 3, 2 is equal to minus 1, and we don't have this term, so this has to be zero, okay? But then if it is this is negative, okay, the only possibly to determine omega h33 is that it is 0.5 and we got already the two weights okay so uh, once more we replace it in the equation we fill the table and guess what just only the point c should activate the, this neuron okay y3 is positive okay please check this if it is okay and okay in this case so this point is in class 1, is the one that should activate the output, and all the others are in class 2 for this discriminative line. Okay, so class 1 is point C, and class 2 is the point A, B, and D. Okay, so to conclude the, the problem, okay, uh, another uh, part of the question is if the, the omega output is this should be output one four uh, this one is equal to minus point five uh, uh, if the okay want to know if the net network is able to classify if a point is or not outside the triangle okay the best way is to assume that uh, all the, the weights omega s11 is equal to one this is equal to 1, and this is equal to 1. If you do this, this is simpler. And uh, so the sum, in this case, we have to do the, the sum. Is the, okay, it's y1 times this omega s11, y2 times omega s12, y3 times omega s13, and, okay, this is the bias, times omega s14. So this becomes to this. Okay, and we want to see if you want to activate, to activate the, this function. Okay, remember that the, we are using a step. So if you if you want to activate the, the, the function, so this is a step. Okay, uh, we uh, okay. It, it it is enough that one of these. Uh, so if the output y one is one, what does it mean? It means that the the point is outside this side of the triangle, of this line. If the y2 is equal to 1, it means that the point is outside of this uh, line. Okay, and if y3 is equal to 1, it means that the, the point is outside of this line. So we can conclude that it, it is enough that one of the outputs of the inner neurons is 1. So it is enough, for instance, that y1 is equal to 1. So if this is equal to 1, 1 minus 0.5 is equal to 0.5, which is uh, bigger than 0, so the output y is equal to 1. It means that the, it classified the, the point outside of the triangle, and it works. So if all the, this is 1 and this is 1, it's the same. 
So it means that this output uh, Nero is actually implementing the OR function with three inputs, Y1, Y2, and Y3. Okay? So I hope that uh, you like this exposition and this video.